how are you? I hope you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about resultant of do vector. Okay, in last video, we have uh, discussed about the uh, un example of uh, some questions about uh, from the unit vector and uh, about the unit vector. Okay, so in this video, we will discuss about the resultant of two vector. Then how how we take the resultant of two vector. So let's start. resultant of two vectors okay first of all we have to draw one vector okay like this and draw second vector on the just like this okay like this one is a vector and this one is b vector and uh, for resultant we have to sit any vector we have to shift we have to parallel shift or uh, we have to shift any vector in the parallel side like so we can see a vector in this side like parallel and b vector in this side like this okay parallel okay like this okay and now uh, this one is the resultant like we all know that last of sorry head of last vector and tail of first vector this gives what this one is resultant okay resultant of I hope you understand this thing. Okay, and now we have to do one more thing. We have to extend like this and uh, join this one and this one. Here we see that uh, it form a triangle, right angle triangle, like uh, this one is angle. Theta and this one is ninety, okay. And this is B vector. This line one is B vector, and this one suppose that B, A B, okay. And uh, this one is O, okay. I hope you understand this thing, okay. And uh, this one is C. This one is D. Okay, so now now let over vector is equal to a a vector here o. A is equal to a vector. We can write, okay? O O D. Sorry. O D vector is equal to B vector. This one, okay? So and this one is theta, okay? And theta is equal to angle between. is equal to a vector and b vector now now what we have uh, done here now we have drawn a perpendicular line okay on ob ob this one is okay so the same thing that we have to write here that to draw 
perpendicular line sorry perpendicular from who be sorry on from C on OB this one from C to OB okay and uh, this one is a triangle that is OB and C okay so from triangle OBC by Pythagoras theorem we have we can write here o, OC square is equal to OB, OB square plus O sorry BC square okay from Pythagoras theorem like here we can write uh, OC square is equal to OB square plus BC square. Okay. And here OC is R vector. So we have to write the same thing that is R square is equal to OA. Now let's see what is in OB. Here is OB. So OB you can write OA plus AB square plus BC square. Okay. Now R is equal to what root under a plus AB plus BC square. Now this one is one more triangle that is from triangle A B C in, in previous we have seen the triangle O B and C and now we have to see this one that is A B C so from triangle A B C okay now the same thing we have to uh, sorry from triangle A B C we have to write uh, this one is equal to P by H perpendicular by hypotenuse is equal to BC let's see the perpendicular is BC this one is theta okay so this one is BC and hypotenuse is so by BC by AC okay now is equal to BC AC is sorry BC is okay. So I hope you understand that from triangle ABC sin theta is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse and that is in perpendicular we have BC and uh, hypotenuse AC so BC by base okay and now we have to write here yeah. BC is equal to B sine theta. Now sine 
theta is equal to b by h okay sorry cos cos theta is equal to b by h yani base it means base by hypotenuse okay so let's see the base that is base is ab okay this one ab cos theta okay now from equation this one is b okay b cos b cos theta okay now from equation first we have what r is equal to a plus b cos theta square plus B sin theta square. This one is question first. That is O F plus A B square plus B C square. Now O F this one is O F plus B A A B is where it is this O F plus A B is B cos A B A plus B cos theta and <clears throat> BC square is equal to this one B sin theta. Okay. Now further we have to that is A square plus B cos B cos theta square plus um. This one cos square theta plus sin square theta and plus left is 2 ab cos theta. Okay, now is equal to here a square plus b square plus 2 ab. Cos theta because If 
Wie man die Plattform. This one is R. And this is U. This is your formula, okay? You have to learn it. That's, that is R is equal to root under A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta, okay? This is because sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, okay? This is the formula. So I hope uh, you, you understand, have uh, understand this derivation, okay? And now next point is that is if R vector is equal to A vector minus plus B vector then what do we have to write? We have to write R is equal to root under A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta. Okay, and if R vector is equal to A vector minus B vector, then we have to write R is equal to root under A square plus B square minus 2 will be cos theta okay so this one is the formula that you have to run that uh, a resultant of r vector plus b vector then a r is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta and if uh, the resultant of a vector minus b vector is then uh, r is equal to root under a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta okay and uh, next point is Angle between any two vector lies between zero and means the angle between any two vector lies between 0 to 180 degree okay this one is the uh, point so you have to learn this point that uh, any two vector lies between 0 to 180 degree or we can say pi okay and uh, always And next point is that angle between any two vector vectors is taken as means angle between any two vector is taken as always smaller angle okay and uh, last point is that is angle between between any two vector is taken as a or 
Okay. Any but any I'm sorry, angle between any two vectors is taken at dead air or telltale. Okay. So uh, here we can only take the angle between any two vector. I uh, this one is head and this one is tail. So head head or tail tail. Okay, not uh, head tail or tail head. Okay, I hope you understand this all three points. Okay, that. Uh, Angle between any two vector lies between 0 to 180 degree or pi that angle between any two vector is always lie between 0 to 180. Okay. Angle between any two vector is taken as a smaller angle. Okay. Now angle between any two vector is taken as tail tail or head head. Okay. Remember this all three points that is very important and this is also important that uh, if r vector is equal to a vector plus b vector then r is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta and if r vector is equal to a vector minus b vector then r is equal to a vector plus b vector minus 2ab cos theta okay so that's all for today thank you have a nice day